Hey fellow traders, I'm Heinz and welcome to another video from SIC Forex. And in today's video, we'll look at should you close all of your trades using Dark Venus on a Friday. What this means is we'll be covering a set file that I have made, which will be available for both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5. So in a recent meeting that I had with another trader, we were discussing the fact if we could close all of the days on Friday and actually see each week what the performance of Dark Venus would be like, and if these would be the best settings to trade this Forex robot. Now in the past, I have held trades for multiple days over the weekend, as we'll see here in example, of a set file that I traded from the 20th of June until the end of October. Now this old set file, which is also available, showed a good return. However, holding the trades for multiple days did incur swap fees, which means we had a negative interest balance on the account. But what if we closed and used the close settings tool, which is available on the Dark Venus trading robot, to get out of all of the trades before the weekend starts. So what this would look like is like the following graph. And we'll see these losses on a Friday that happen when the bot closes or forcefully closes all of the trades, but we don't get stuck in anything for longer than a week. So this means that you have a specific time on a Friday that the robot closes all of the trades. So it's important that you will need to adjust this according to your broker server time. But what we see is if we close all of the trades on Friday, the bot is still able to generate a healthy net profit of $1,545.26. And you'll see that I added specific entry criteria and that the, all of the trades were closed on the last trading hour of Friday. Now, this did mean that we weren't profitable every month. However, we had a much lower drawdown at only 11.90% and a profit factor above 1.4 at 1.83. So out of the 397 trades placed over this 24-month period, Dark Venus was able to win 80.35% of these trades. So what we are going to do next is we are going to look at the exact settings that I used that closed all of the trades on Friday using the close all settings for the expert advisor. So first thing that we'll need to look at is the specific strategy that I used for the expert advisor. Dark Venus has multiple strategies built around the Bollinger Bands. So it's important that you need to adjust it correctly to get the right results. So what I decided to use was use a risk management of 2%. So it's using an O2 lot system to calculate the lots as the balance grows. And the strategy which I chose was the uptrend buy and downtrend sell. Now there are six different strategies to choose from when you are trading Dark Venus, but I prefer to use a trend following strategy. The Bollinger Band is built using a simple moving average and then a deviation of the bands. So I increase the Bollinger Band period to 50 to give me more of a medium term view on the market. I also increase the deviations of the bands from 2 to 3. Now you would have seen from the previous backtesting results that it was only entering new trades during specific trading hours. So according to my broker server time, which is GMT plus 3, it will be opening at 2 o'clock in the morning until 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Now this is to cover most of the Asia session and a little bit of the London session. Now by only trading these two sessions, and it's very important to adjust it according to your own breaker server time, and you want to focus on times where there are no high impact news events. Remember this free Forex robot doesn't have a built-in news filter, so it's important that you need to adjust the settings to be able to avoid news events. On top of this, I also disabled Friday trading because Friday is notorious for major news events like NFP. 
Now, on top of this, because I know we are exiting all of the trades on Fridays, I allowed it to both buy and sell at the same time, so it can immediately react as the market is changing. Now, next, let's look at another important aspect, which is our grid trading settings. And I use a coefficient for the grid management of 0.3, with a 300 point or 30 pip gap between the trades. On top of this, I increase the distance multiplier from 1 to 1.2. This means the distance between the trades will increase, giving us a wide enough grid to comply with market conditions. So now that we have covered our grid settings, we can take a look at the profit and loss settings. And it's important that you always need to have a stop loss enabled, so I used a 30% of the account stop loss for this example. Now I changed it so that it has a different take target for the first and for the grid orders, with my first order having a take profit of 160 and when it goes into a grid it has a target of 80 points. Now on top of this to ensure that we are always trailing profitable trades I enabled the trailing stop and I use the complete optimization to determine two levels that are good for this specific broker. So what I did is I added it to start trailing at 110 points and then trail by 60. Now lastly, to get all of the trades closed on an exact point in the end of the week, we need to look at our closed trading settings. Now the closed trading settings gives you a few different options, but the ones that I chose was to close on a Friday night at 10 o'clock and to also force close on a Friday night again at 10 o'clock. This means that on each Friday the bot will close all of the trades that it has assigned to its magic number. So make sure that each of your different strategies uses its own magic number so that you can make sure that it closes all of its trades. And the way that we can see this on the balance and equity graph is these high quantity or losses that we take on Friday. But overall the bot is able to recover from these so I decided to put it on a live account. So I'll leave a link to this account on my FX book so that you can track the records for yourself. And I've already attached the MT4 version of the set file to the account that has Stratus Bora and Cadence FX running live. Now this means that we'll be running three different robots on this account. So if you'd like to learn more about how I do my algo trading, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell so you stay up to date with all of my future videos. Now it's important when it comes to algorithmic trading that you have the right tools for the jobs. What this means is that you need to have the right things set in place so that you can get the best results. Now I recommend using a virtual private server for your algo trading. This ensures that you have low latency and then you must combine this with a high quality broker. So with that guys, I want to say thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please drop it a like. Until next time, happy trading. Bye.